guys today I'm going, going to be showing you how to crop a shape in Silhouette Studio um, the question that prompted this video was from a viewer who wanted to know if it was possible for her to crop a border without changing the number of scallops that was in it um, she was trying to use uh, the scale tool but it was changing how big the scallop was so I'm actually going to go to my library and I'm going to open a set of scallops so I can show you what um, I believe she's talking about. So I'm going to ungroup that. Oops. Maybe I didn't ungroup. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of these because I don't need these. I was working Illustrator before and I always forget some of the keystrokes don't work. Okay. So she has her border shape on her screen, and when she goes to change the size, the the scallops at the top are changing, and she doesn't want that. So I'm going to hit um, Control Z to make it the shape it was. And what you need to do is go up to your um, your page options here. It's the little red box first, and reveal your cutting mat underneath so you can see the grid. Now, if you're using um, like the designer edition of Silhouette Studio, you have this ruler at the top, but I'm assuming most people don't. So you'll need that ruler as a guide. So then you can zoom into your shape so you can see your ruler measurements. Make sure you zoom out just a little bit. So now I can see my ruler measurements on my screen. And I believe she wanted it to be about three inches. Um, so she would place her box there, but say you just wanted to cut it off at the scallop and you wanted it to be this size. What you're going to do is you're going to actually just draw a box by using um, the draw rectangle tool on the left hand side and put it over your shape where you want it to cut. So if I wanted it to cut right at that scallop, I'd place it there. And you need to make sure that it is selecting everything you want to get rid of. So I want to get rid of everything in this box. So I'm going to highlight both shapes go to my modify tool at the top right hand side and then hit subtract all. So you can see I hit subtract all and now I'm just left with a small portion of my scallop border. So I hope this this helps. Thanks for watching.